What's going on guys? It is Monday morning. It is 5.20 a.m. Just woke up. So, time to do my weigh-in. Feeling pretty shredded. Um, you'll see some pictures of... Oh, uh, yeah. I'll turn the scale like this. There we go. Weight's balanced at 172.8. I'll flip this around and I'll show it to you guys right now. Okay, pretty good morning weight for me. Um, so that's pretty much what my lean weight is. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's kind of what I figured it was gonna be. Thought it would actually be a little bit less, but I'm not gonna complain. So, this week, reverse dieting. Last week, sort of reverse dieting, but it was more like carb loading. Um, so I got some carbs back in the muscle, feeling fuller, still lean. And I've been manipulating my carbs based on how I look. So that can be hard because like some days you wake up and you're a little bit watery, you pull your you pull your carbs back, and then midday you're pretty dry and you're flat, so you add more carbs back in. So it's just like a lot of manipulation, trying to stay as full as possible. And um, it's a lot of trial and error. So t this week I'm gonna stick with like a set. I'm going to eat pretty much the same thing every day, the same times. Um, so right now, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to have oatmeal, so carb meal. I'll have a protein drink before my exam that I have at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'll come home. I will have probably like a can of tuna or, um, I don't know, we'll see. Egg whites, I don't know. I'll figure something out. And then I'll work out after that. So I'm probably going to work out around like 12, 1 o'clock. So that's what time I'm training today. But for right now, I have to go upstairs, get some breakfast to me, and go write this exam. So that's what I'm going to do this morning, and I will see you guys. In What's going on, guys? So I messed up. My exam is at 7 p.m. tonight, so I went over to school. I did some studying, whatever. Came home. I'm going to work out at Glover Place at school. So I'm having some ribs, some Greek salad, as a pre-workout meal, sort of pre-workout. I'll be training in about a little under an hour. So this will digest quick and I'll go have a great workout. So that's the plan. I'm going to go kill shoulders and triceps and it's going to be a great day and I will see you guys when I'm taking. I'll see you guys at the gym. What's going on guys? Day 15. Oh my goodness, been doing this for two weeks. So about to kill the shoulder workout, super excited. Um, Feeling strong, we'll see what happens. So, as everyone knows, when you cut weight, your strength is going to decrease a little bit anyway. So, if I'm 180, I'm not gonna, if I'm 180 and I cut to 170, I'm gonna be slightly weaker than I was at 180. Just because you have less, it's physics, you have less mass to move the weight. But that doesn't mean that you can't add strength at 170 that is the same as you were at 180. So when I'm 172, when I get back up to 178 pounds, I'm going to be stronger than I was at 180 pounds. Or that's the goal. So that's where this whole title came from. Bigger, leaner, stronger in 90 days. So more muscle, lower body fat, and stronger. And that's very doable. 90 days is three months. A lot, you can do a lot in three months. And people... Always gonna be like that's not realistic. People are always looking for an easy way out. Don't do that. Set a goal. Set something that's high. Set something that's hard to do, and come up with a plan to do it and stick to it. And if you fall short, that's fine. But at least you did everything in your power to achieve that goal. So anyway, that being said, I'm gonna go kill this workout, and I will see you guys in the gym.
What's going on guys? Done my workout, killed a quick shoulder workout and triceps. It actually took, didn't really take that long. Um, so my workout, I started with military press behind the neck. So I just go up by quarters. I went, there's 95 pounds to warm up. I did videotape this. 95 pounds to warm up, one up to whatever, 225s is 145. So 145 for a heavy set behind the neck like still wanted to get like six reps and then after that drop down to just 35s per side so 115 and I just did some clean sets behind the neck nice and slow on the way down and then come back up like getting a good contraction I was focusing on getting a pump in my shoulders I wasn't concerned about the weight so then I moved on to side laterals and I did five sets of side laterals. So I started with just 25 pound dumbbells to warm up, then 35s, 45s, then drop back down to two more sets at 35 pound dumbbells. And the last set was a drop set. So you guys figure out whatever works for you. I'm just showing you guys what I did. And then I did Arnold press, just take a light weight, do six, 10 reps, come all the way down in front, turn all the way out and then press up really good pump really good for your side delts and your front delts so after that i did um behind the neck pull down now i did this focusing on my rear delts i videotaped one side of it it didn't really turn out that good but when you pull down really focus on getting a contraction in your shoulder don't use your back you can use a lot more weight if you use your back but go light and try to get a pump in your rear delts and when you figure it out you'll know what i'm talking about so it's trial and error. So I did five sets of that. And then I did triceps. So I did close grip bench press, then a heavy press down, and then rope pull press downs. I did five sets each. And the last set for everyone was a drop set. So I pyramid up in weight, and the last sets, two sets at a lighter weight than a drop set. Something like that, wait. Yeah, pyramid up. What did I do? I pyramid it up, so I went like one set, two sets, three sets. Third set was the heaviest set. Then went back down to like what my second set was. And then one more at that same weight and then into a drop set. That's what it was. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Sorry, I didn't get to videotape the whole workout, so sadly I'm not just able to show you guys. I do have some clips that you'll see in a second though. Anyway, Overall, pretty good workout, felt decently strong, and um, feeling good. So, I'm going to go home and get some food in me post-workout. That's important. Don't miss your post-workout meal. Protein, carbs, very important post-workout. So, I'm going to go do that, and then I am studying the rest of the day for my exam at 7 p.m. So, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in a little bit. What's going on guys? It is 8.30. Um, done my exam. Been at school all day. My phone died, so I haven't been videoing a lot. Now, this one I'm having for supper. Rice and salmon. I have not eaten a lot today. Really looking forward to this meal. And um, overall, pretty good day. Exam went awesome. And before my exam, I went in and did like a quick push workout. Like nothing really. Like some incline bench press, some flies some shoulder, some side lateral raises, some shoulder press, um, and some dips. Just like a quick push workout, just to get a little bit of a pump, get me in the right mindset. Cause it's, I find it really tiring, like sitting in school all day studying. So just doing that before my exam wakes me up and um, makes me focused. So that's what I did. I'm about to eat this meal and I will see you guys in a little bit. Thank you. 
What's going on guys? So just did a back and bicep workout. Really crappy workout actually. Was there for like 30 minutes. Just felt really drained. Um, but still got a little bit of video. Like I was still moving the weight, it just I didn't feel it. So typically that means I need a little bit of a break. Just take, I'll cut the workout short, take today off. Well, not really, like I still got to work it in. Go eat. eat. I'm gonna eat a lot today. I'll be in a surplus 100%. Make myself feel good tomorrow. So you have to know when your body needs a break. And um, I know a lot of times you just say like, yeah, let's just go through it. And it works a lot of the time. A lot of time I'll come in, I'm super tired and I'll have really good workouts. But today was not one of those days. And I didn't even feel tired. Like I just felt, everything just felt heavy. So um, I was still able to move all like the, all the weight I wanted to move with no problems. And I did some really heavy, like, even after back, I did some really heavy sheet curls. So um, I, it was fine. It just, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And everyone has those days. So when you have a day like that, don't let it hold you back. Just know that your body needs a break. Go do what you need to do that day. Like get get your get the rest that you need. Get some food in you. Get stay hydrated. Just try to make yourself better the next day. So that's all you can ever do. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go home. I'm going to eat, and I'm not gonna worry about what macros I eat. So I'm gonna go home. I'm probably gonna have something that's probably not considered the best. I'm probably gonna have like a grilled cheese sandwich, a protein drink and maybe some egg whites or some eggs so big meal that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to get myself feeling good for tomorrow anyway yeah because like the whole thing about like being on decently low calories is that there's a point where your body gets used to it and that point for me is right now so i'm going to drive home get some food in me and then i'm going to study the rest of the day so i will see you guys in a bit What's going on guys? Beautiful day today, like 15 degrees and sunny, which I'm really excited to get it so it becomes hot out, like 30 degrees, but we're getting there. Anyway, beautiful day out, but I need to study. So I'm gonna try to study outside, but we'll see how that goes and how productive I am. But um, one more exam, it's on Thursday, and then off for summer, and I cannot wait, super excited. Anyway, I'm gonna start some work, get some more food in me, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, what's going on guys? Done it's my studying. Still have a little bit of coffee left. Honestly, hardly drank it. It is so hot out. I was sitting outside. Just dried right out. I'm so sweaty. It's ridiculous. It's gross. But I'm loving it. I love the heat. I cannot complain at all. Um, so, pretty good day. I'm going to go home have some type of meal. I don't know what I'm going to have yet, but something, something yummy. And then I have to do a little bit of work. Oh, and I also have to edit this video. So I do have some stuff to do, but I'm probably going to sit outside and um, do some, do my work outside because it's so nice out. So that's what I'm going to do. Super excited for it to be summer. One more exam to go and then I'm off for like five months. Now I'm working, but that's way better than school. I cannot complain. So, gonna get this week over with, just get this last exam done, get some work in this week, and I will talk to you guys soon. 